In this Gimbal Guru video, I show you how to create the grenade shot with your Insta360 ONE X2 or ONE R in Insta360 Studio and Adobe Premiere. And this is how a grenade shot looks like. Attention! To create the grenade shot, you have to throw your camera into the air and catch it again. If you don't catch your Insta360 camera, it can fall on the ground and break. So only do this if you feel comfortable with it. The recording itself is very easy. Take your Insta360 ONE X2 or ONE R, mount the camera on the telescope stick and make sure the pole stick is fully retracted and fixed. Alternatively, you can also throw the camera without the selfie stick. I recommend you to use the highest resolution. Then throw your camera in the air and catch it again. And you're finished. All the reframing steps I show you now in Insta360 Studio and Adobe Premiere. First we start in Insta360 Studio and import the RAW360 video file. Switch to the Free Capture tab and start reframing. The first step is to set some keyframes to center the person in the image. When the camera leaves the hand, the airtime starts. The next keyframe is very important. Figure out when the camera reaches the highest point and set the keyframe there. I recommend you to use the left and right arrows on your keyboard to analyze the video frame by frame. Switch back to the View tab and change the View mode to Flat. Now take a snapshot with the camera button and save the image. Then switch back to the Free Capture tab. Mark the keyframe and change the view to Tiny Planet. Point downwards and lower the FOV value to get a nice tiny planet. Set the last keyframe when you catch the camera and change the view mode to natural. When you now look at the final video, the explosion effect and the 360 look around is missing. Unfortunately, it's not possible to create this in Insta360 Studio, so we have to export the video and continue in Adobe Premiere. To export the reframed video, click on the export button. Change the resolution to 4K and the encoding format to ProRes to get the maximum quality. Then click OK and Insta360 Studio starts exporting the video. When the export is finished, Open Premiere Pro, create a new project and sequence and import the video. Also import the snapshot. Drag the video into the sequence and search the point where the tiny planet reaches its maximum. Cut the video at this point and put the snapshot right behind the cut. Apply the GoPro Reframe plugin on the photo. Set the projection to 4K 16 to 9 and lower the zoom value to achieve the tiny planet effect. Now change the reframing parameters to get the same tiny planet view as the last frame before the cut.
add a cross dissolve transition for blending the video and photo together. To improve the transition, you can add keyframes to achieve a zoom out effect. In the next step, we create the explosion effect. Change the lens curve parameter from 0 to 70. Now you can set some keyframes for the 360 look around. Place them as you like and create a nice looking 360 view. At the end, point downwards and blend the sequences together. I recommend you set the keyframe interpolation to continuous percier to achieve a smooth reframing motion. Additionally, I improved the shot by adding a black and white effect, some shaking motion, and audio effects. If you have questions, let me know in the comments. And this is my 360 video grenade shot, created with the Insta360 ONE X2. Check out the links in the description to get your Insta360 camera now. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found some inspiration for your next videos. Subscribe to my channel for more 360 video tutorials, creative reframing video ideas and much more. I see you in the next video.